I'm on the internet this weekend, Gordon. I'm scrolling through, and I'm looking for results, as I normally do. And I come across a 9.88 time from Mount Sachs Elias Garcia. And I stopped for a second, and I thought, wait a minute. Why did I not see this anywhere else? Why was no one sending me text messages? Why was I not seeing this blasted out from World Athletics or other running outlets? Um, so I was curious, started Googling, put the name into Twitter, put it into Instagram, put it into the YouTube search algorithm, and lo and behold, come to find out a lot of questions about the time. Now, if you don't know who Elias Garcia is, runs for Mount Sac, a junior college, um, had been running times, you know, 10 2, 10 1, um, first competed for Mount Sac back in, in 2020, but has run a couple times this year. And the more you Google, the more you look at it, you come across, you know, video from the race. And this is where, where you jump in, Gordon, because you tracked down this video and you sent it to me. Tell us, what did you see from the video when we finally got video of this race? Well, at first I was like, maybe they had the wrong start line because there's mm -hmm. just so much fish going on in this race. Uh, it just stinks of high water. And not only in this race, but other races that he's run. Uh, and someone took the video and put a, a time to it and yeah. noticed that it looks like they stopped the clock like three meters early, which mm -hmm. is a lifetime in the 100-meter dash. And obviously, automatic timing is not the same as timing from a digital screen. So yeah. clearly there's going to be a percent error but there's not that big of a percent error when you look at it like basically they had him running about 10 1 which makes sense mm -hmm. because he's run 10 1 at other meets but 988 into a headwind that that's not true that's that's just mm -hmm. not happening um so it makes you like all right well maybe our don't believe your eyes maybe what we're seeing is wrong and it actually was a 988 and then he started looking at his other results. And it's like, all right, he's on 10 twos, 10 ones. The jump mm -hmm. to 988 means, I mean, crazy things happen, but it seems kind of far-fetched. Let's see if he said any other results. This is his 10-2 result from UCLA where mm -hmm. he looked good. And then I look into it, and he ran an outdoor 60-meter dash in 645. I was like, mm -hmm. 645? That's 0.04 away from Coleman and Marcel Jacobs. They're the best in the world. Right. That's right. Maybe six. Maybe this is real. He ran 6:45 like a few months ago. Just no one knew about it because it was outdoors. And then I saw that video, which you sent to me. And let me tell you, if that's not the most obvious false start <laughs> in the history mm -hmm. of false starts, like we talk about Terrence Jones' false start, this was a false start of all false starts. And for some reason, it did not call back. Um, his 645 was clearly not legit either. Um, and then it just puts all these questions. Like the results aren't up on the website. Like there was a track meet, but yeah. the results page only have field events. It's not track events. And this yeah. all just feels like the timer made a mistake. And maybe this timer was just playing a massive April Fool's joke on the track world, on track Twitter. And... <laughs> Garcia was in on it. It's like, yo, man, we're going to make you a 988 runner into a headwind. Yeah. Everyone's going to go crazy. Here we go. Yeah. And that's where we are now. I think it's the greatest ever, not, greatest ever 988 that probably did not happen. First of all, it's not the kid's fault. We should mention oh, yeah. that here. And he's good. You know, 10 2 is legit. Yeah. 10 1 is legit. 10 2, so. 10, yeah. 10 2, 10 1. Got a bright future. Uh, just had a situation with the timing here. The big red flag is the no times on the website. No, in today's day and age, no times, not just for his race, but for any of the running events at that meet. That's a big red flag. And then the times that did surface from that 100 meter race, it wasn't just him getting a massive PB. It was everybody getting a massive PB. And I know when stuff like this happens, people like to look at the, well, maybe the wind gauge was, was, was not reading things correctly. but for an error that, for an improvement that big, it's usually something bigger than just, oh, it was, they, they measured it at a, a minus 
0.1, it should have been a plus 2.1. Well, no, when you're getting down to 988, it's like, all right, is this guy a gold medal threat? <laughs> did, did this guy just go from uh, 10 2, 10 1 to gold medal threat? Does that sound like something that is plausible? Um, so it's something bigger than to engage. I think it's some sort of error with the timing system. We'll maybe find out more later. And then also, it never made its way into TFERS, in part because there were no results. And if, if, TF, if it's not on TFERS, for the purposes of, of the NCAA, it's not it's not counting. And not to say they don't count any sort of mark that has some questions about, about it, right? They kept Jones's mark on there from Texas Tech um, just because it was ruled fair at the time, even though that there was no, um, there, there was clear evidence looking at the video that, that he left early. Um, but yeah, this is just a weird part of track where you wanna believe everything right you want it but errors do happen and there's so many meets every weekend and so many races that things can go haywire and produce this sort of result i just think it's wild that the instagram post from mount sack and the press release from mount sack is still up like they have to know uh this isn't real like is, who's gonna tell them like they do they know that this is they have mm. to know do they just keep this up that the a picture with him with the words 988 next to it, like as mm -hmm. legit fastest time in the world. Like it seems like this well, is Well, that's how I found out want, about it. You'd that's want how I found out about it was the elite. school was the school promoting it. That's the that's yeah. how I found out about it. Was was because again it wasn't listed in results. It's not like if you went on Saturday night or Sunday night and scroll refresh T first and say, Hey, what were the top college marks of the season? You know, you wouldn't have seen this. Or Ward Athletics, you wouldn't have seen this. It wasn't there. The only way you saw it was through the Mount Sac post. Um, yeah, I talked before about every, every runner has a Lyles number, named after Noah Lyles is 1890, 200 from a couple of years ago. Everybody has a number where they run it and you're like, I don't know, are we sure? Now, if Marcel Jacobs opens with a 988, if Christian Coleman runs a 988, we're like, okay, cool. Or even if somebody who has a bit, a bit slower PB uh, than those guys and hasn't run that time. If they open with a 988, you're like, okay, that's cool. But this just far exceeded um, what, we, what we normally see as any sort of logical progression in the same way that, yeah, we thought Lyles was capable of some amazing stuff, but when that Inspiration Games clock started, stopped at 1890, everybody was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's not believable. What time do you think I could fake on my Instagram that's good enough to turn their eyes, but also not too good where they won't think it's fake. Like what time do you think I could run that they're not gonna think is fake? I mean, nobody who listens to this podcast <laughs> is gonna believe you're sub 11. So let's just start there. <laughs> but what if I put 1099 with like a 5.0 win? They won't believe that? I mean, we can ask people in the chat. I wouldn't believe it. I, don't I wouldn't believe it. it. Yeah. The thing with the wind, everybody always jumps to the wind, right? Everybody always jumps to the wind because they think that's the thing that, you know, has the biggest error and that's the biggest variance. But listen, even if he runs 988 with a plus three, that would be a massive performance for him, given where he's at in his career. People can find it, the the YouTube clip they showed earlier from, I think it was Athlete X on YouTube had there's a link at some point in the comments of, of the 60 and you can watch the 60 because that's what was confusing me too. Because I was like, wait a minute, you're in a 645. How do we not know about this guy? I know it was an outdoor 60, but I feel like someone would have mentioned a 645 earlier in the season. And then you watch it and it's, it reminds me of that Jones race where it's just, it's a very clear false start. doesn't get called back. Again, mistakes happen. I'm not saying that, you know, it's the end of the world in track and field, but you watch that race and you think, all right, can, can this, is this person a 6'4 six, six, runner? Well, no, because they, ha they got a clear false start. And then you look at the other time since then, it's like, well, if he had run that fast, then we would have seen faster times, we can assume. Yeah. Maybe this is just a, I think this is, might be just a massive April Fool's joke. And they have yet Dude, to but tell no, us April Fool's. They're waiting. But in the release, but in the release, it was like, this is no April Fool's. Like, they went out of their way to say. That's how you get them. That's how you get them. <laughs> you tell them it's not a joke. And then they, then they're, they believe it's not a joke. 
Yeah, yeah. I guess. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the the, the T first page. So since that 60, now the 60 is on T first. So that got counted. That got counted. Yeah, the first sentence of this release. It might have been April Fool's Day, but it was no joke. You're right. They they followed your playbook. But since then, a couple four by ones, and then he goes 10 one six, um, uh, 21 31, then a 21 02, then a 10.2. That's what happened since the 6 4 5. So, you know, everybody who has their antennas up for these things is like, all right, wait, hold on a second. Let's, let's wait. Let's see the video. Let's see the results. And then when results, the problem is results don't come in. When results don't come in and we're just going off of estimates, um, it's pretty, it's pretty hard to take, you know, accept it. And, and then you, you also know, like, the people who are the biggest sticklers about this, like, like, we're, like we're athletics is like on it. I remember there was a time, I don't remember what it was a couple of years ago. Oh, it was um, the Swiss athlete, Alex, Alex Wilson, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like that actually had results attached to it. And I don't know if they just like dispatched a whole team out there. Like if it was just sort of CSI status and like they all showed up there and started testing all the instruments and stuff, but they, they, they smelled that one out early and they didn't, and they didn't put it on there. So I have pretty good confidence that w the times that eventually get to their site are, are legit. Again, there are some examples. We mentioned one from the indoor season where stuff gets through, but 988, they're going to catch. You know, I'm going to pretend it's still legit until this weekend. Why not? Let's go another yeah. few days. Let's, let's live in the world where Elias Garcia from Las Vegas, Nevada, uh, mm -hmm. is your world leader and that people like Christian Coleman and Marcel Jacobs have some work to do. That's what I'm going to live yeah. in. I'm going to live in that world. And then hopefully that world comes crashing down shortly. So yeah, until they take down this press release, he's 988 in my book. Press release or it didn't happen. Uh, Anthony says Gordon would run 13.5. Anything faster, I would not believe it. Yeah. Everybody, yeah, 13 is a consensus. Um, Thomas says 1099 windy, not even on your bike, Gordon. Ow. That, <laughs> see, that's a low blow. Low blow. Going back to the scene of the injury there. Actually, I mean, it probably would be hard to run 1099 on a bike because from a standing you start, going. you got you got to get going and, you know, it's going to be like, you know, chug, 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 hope, hopefully you have the right gears. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. That actually would be hopefully. a fun sport to see, like, from a standing start. How fast you can ride a bike 100 meters? Mm -hmm. And like, can I run faster than Usain Bolt in 100 meters? How Bolt, not. Well, how, how long could Bolt hold off a cyclist? Yeah. That would be fun. That would be a fun, like from standing start. Yeah. How, how long do you think you could hold off like a, a regular person cyclist? Like me. Like, do you think I could catch him in 200 meters? Probably not. Or Yeah? No? I don't know. Mm, wait, is this current Gordon? Is this post bike crash Gordon or pre bike it's, crash? It's Gordon? Gordon in like four to six weeks. See, Gordon in four to six weeks though is still seeing shadows. He's not willing to risk it all yeah. because he's so worried. Uh, I'll take Bolt. That's fat. I, I mean, could, getting could, he, could you, you about ride Bolt? a bike? You about well, nineteen seconds. Can you ride Bolt? a bike on your own, like in forty-two seconds around the track? It's like. Well, know. yes, obviously people can run that fast. I'm talking about can you do it? And you're not doing – you're talking, I'm talking about 400. You're talking about 200. Oh, we got some archive video here from Gordon. This, this is, is an embarrassing a, video. 2018, I think. Hey, you did better than I did. There's me There's talking you. about Gordon. Laying the groundwork for this podcast, by the way, just working on all my fav, favorite Gordon bits. <laughs> all right. Oh, man. Let's That's move on. You want to talk Florida Relays? Everyone. Texas, Texas yeah, let's talk. We have so much to talk about. We just spent 20 minutes on – a fake result. Time, time <laughs> Let's probably talk about real count. results. Yeah. <laughs>